Cool. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. <clears throat> I rise tonight to say thank you to our community in Palmerston. Thank you for another year of letting me represent you in the Legislative Assembly of the Northern Territory. It truly is an honour. I may have said this every year, but it has been a learning experience and continues to be. I often long to return to the life of a Territory Police Officer when I knew I could help people, albeit one at a time. But in this role, as I said when I've spoken to you so many times, I get to try and help people en masse. I get to speak up for you and yours in this place and try to get the best for all of us who live in our little patch of paradise. So where do I start with 2023? It's been another year of roller coasters. <clears throat> it's been an emotional year. It's been a year of tragedy, happiness, and a year of difficult decisions. And 2024 is shaping up to be a year where hopefully we continue to band together to build on the work that we've done and make our community stronger. Stronger, more resilient, and more connected. If I was going to pick one thing that had made the biggest impact on me, it would be the work of the Woodruff community and the Woodruff Care Community Project. The project has been set up by residents for residents and with no financial reward or incentive, just out the goodness of their hearts. They're trying to make life a little bit better for those around them, the Australian ethos of mateship. They've set up cooking classes that have been running out of Woodruff School. They've set up gardening classes. They've been checking on their neighbours, helping out with odd jobs. We knew that some people were lonely, so we set up a games morning in our electorate office on Monday morning, where they get to show off their extensive trivial pursuit skills. I do wonder whether younger Territorians will remember the joys of a hard-won game of Scrabble in the era of electronics. But for me, this is why I got into politics. This community group will outlast whoever the member for Blaine is. It's not relying on funding, it's not relying on politicians. It's our community looking after each other, for each other. And in 2024, I'm hoping that we can grow this seed in other suburbs and see it take, take up in Molden, Rosebury and Bellamac. I want to say a happy Christmas and thank you to our incredible Mayor, Athena Pascoe-Bell. We're exceptionally fortunate in Palmerston to have a Mayor of such high calibre. As others have said, the Palmerston Council, led by Lucio and his team, help our little part of the territory shine. I want to thank all of the teaching staff at Forest Parade School, Rosebury Primary School, Woodruff Primary School, Molden Park School, Palmerston College, Sacred Heart School, as well as Palmerston Christian School, Good Shepherd School and Bakewell Primary School, who, while just outside of our electorate, look after so many of our children, including mine. I often said in my former career that I didn't know how teachers did it. And in this career, my respect for their work has gone even higher. I want to thank our thin blue line at the Palmerston Police Station, it goes without saying, who keep going above and beyond to look after us, seemingly doing the impossible, and I can certainly attest to that. It's so much harder than it was when I was doing it, trying to do more with less, and they do a sterling job. I'd also like to thank our hardworking St John's Ambulance teams, often forgotten in debate, but so important to us, and at the cold face without any of the protection that I used to have as a police officer. To our firefighters who have worked harder than ever, you only have to look at the satellite images of the fires in the Northern Territory to see what they have to contend with, never mind the risk they put themselves on a daily basis, and for a lot of them, doing it voluntarily, just like our excellent Northern Territory emergency service teams. To our correctional officers, the unsung heroes of the justice system, they're again doing more with less and working harder than ever before. Our society could not function without them as our public servants. The, the things that they do um, constantly amaze me. For our public servants, please, please, please don't be demoralised. Know that others in this place and I pay attention to things like the People Matter survey and we're all trying to work to help you do the best for us. I desperately hope the change is afoot and I will never stop fighting. And now more than ever, we need that frank and fearless advice to government. My office is a safe space and will always be open no matter where in the territory you are. I'd like to thank our courageous whistleblowers. We know and see regularly that people do not blow the whistle for fear of retaliation, but we cannot get better without people who are willing to do that. Thank you for putting yourselves on the line and making life better. To the Independent Commissioner Against Corruption, Michael Richards, and to your staff, the Territory needs you. 
I know you're facing difficult times, like everybody are trying to do more with less with an overwhelming flood of referrals, and we know the economic costs of corruption. We know the costs of corruption on livability, and again, we cannot do this without you. To my friends and colleagues in the Northern Territory Police Association, the members, the President and the Executive, thank you for being a beacon of hope in some of the toughest years in living memory to be a police officer in the Northern Territory. Thank you for the help you provide people 24 hours a day and for so many of you done on a voluntary basis in your own time. I'd like to thank Ben Coleman and Samantha Gould who have set up the Veterans Boxing uh, for free at the Progressive Combat Centre. Um, it's a great experience on a Tuesday night for veterans and first responders. We've had people down there who are 20 years old, people down there who are 18 years old. And it's a fantastic bit of com camaraderie. One of the biggest learning curves of this job has been the shared lessons that the first responder and veteran community have and what we can learn from each other. Which brings me on to Sam Weston and the team at the Mad Snake Cafe. You've taught me so much. Your Friday morning coffee catch-ups are a safe spot for camaraderie between our communities. And I think you underestimate the impact you have on helping so many. You truly make our territory a better place and I look forward to seeing what you do on Darling Council as well, albeit I wish you would move to Palmerston. Thank you to my family, you put up with so much. From my time as a police officer to my time as a parliamentarian, I've learned a lot, some of it rather turbulently to say the least, but thank you will never do it justice. The families of police officers and first responders are a special group who have to put up with so much, and I can now see how the families of parliamentarians are a special group too. Lastly, but by no means least, thank you to all of the DLA staff, to Hansard Security and Elizabeth, our new independent researcher. Happy Christmas and a happy new year. God bless.